Hello, welcome to video four. What is material? The main material part two. We are going to go ahead and we're going to cover the first four sections of the main material video in the second part. We're going to cover the base color, metallic, specular, and roughness. So to get started with our basic plain main material here, if I go ahead and save it, apply it, and check it out, we just have a simple black box with a half value for specularity and average values for roughness and metallic. This is our default material. So base color, this is our base color of the material. We can use a solid color like this. This is a gold value. This is the nice thing about PBR is they can get actual measured colors from physical objects give you the values and if you input those into your material itself you'll have the real world approximate approximation of that item so i went ahead and i put in the real world values for gold and if i go ahead and check it out you'll find i have a box that is the real world color of gold now you're going to think to yourself it doesn't look like gold that's because this is simply the color it doesn't have any of the roughness or metallic properties associated with gold normally. So that is simply the base color. Now it doesn't have to be solid. Obviously this could be a texture. If we go ahead and put in this texture here and hit apply, you're going to notice that our box is going to change to reflect our new texture. And it's going to be a little checkerboard pattern. You'll notice again though, it has our normal specular values of 0.5 and our normal roughness, roughness and metallic. Nothing is special applied to it. So let's go ahead and check out metallic. Let me go ahead and hook back up our gold and let me set one for our metallic value. What this is going to do is give us a base color of gold and a one for metallic, which means 100%, which means when I apply this, we are going to have something that roughly approximates a gold bar. And right here, you can see we have it's showing the better properties of metallic and it's showing that we pretty much have what is a gold reflective metal material. Now one thing we might want to do is let me go ahead and set roughness up to zero for this example. Go ahead and apply and save this. Naturally most things in life do have a roughness. It's going to have a little bit of a roughness unless it's a complete smooth mirror that's going to have basically a roughness of zero. For the most part, even something like gold, it's not going to look like this. It's not going to be this shiny metallic where all it does is reflect light. Because if you notice, we're not really seeing much because all we're doing now is with a shininess of a roughness of zero, we're not really reflecting any light. Everything is basically bouncing off of it. So we have an issue. So if we leave our roughness at the default, you'll find that'll work for most items unless you know for sure it's completely shiny or completely rough. A roughness value of around 0.2 or so is perfectly acceptable. So that is our metallic value right there. Now, metallic values, again, do not have to be solid values. One represents white or fully metallic. Zero represents black or non-metallic at all. We can use patterns and textures, which I'll go ahead and do here. What you're going to find is in the spaces that are white, we're going to have reflectivity as if it was metal. And in the spaces that are black, we're basically going to have no reflectivity because it is not metal. Now, this is a little bit of an extreme example here, but a better one might be, let's say you have a refrigerator that is a white plastic material, and it does not contain any metal. But on it, you have screws, and these screws are 100% metal. Well, using a mask like we're doing here, you could have a completely white surface and just a few, sorry, a completely black texture with a few small white dots that represent the screws. And then when the material is ran, compiled, and shading, you'll only get reflectivity and a metal appearance from the metal parts that you have defined in your texture. So our next one is going to be specular. Epic recommends that you leave specular at the default value of 0 0.5. That's basically going to be right in the middle and it's going to be your average and your default. You can leave specular unconnected. It will be 0 
and you can go on from there. If you know you need a different specularity value, you can go ahead and adjust it. Now, specularity, let me show this in an interactive form, is basically like a light reflecting or a light corona coming off of the object. I've gone ahead and I've hooked up specularity here. I've defaulted it to the 0.5, and I've made it where it's a parameter so I can actually adjust it in real time. So if I go in here, we uncheck specularity and I adjust it, you're going to notice, let's try to get a better angle at this. As I go from zero to five, you get a slight fall off. And keep, I'm sorry, zero to one. It only goes from zero to one. Even though I go over or under, it's not gonna affect it. Basically between zero and one, it gives you a slight bit of specular reflectivity. It's micro occlusion, small scale shadowing, maybe from cracks in a normal map. For the most part, you'll want to leave this as default. There are some example values on the Unreal's website, on Epic's website for the Unreal documentation. I will link below. But things like, for example, I mean, just to show the variance, you have, you know, glasses and plastics at 0.5, which is our default. And on your extreme ends, you have things like ice and water, which is around 0.25 and skin is around 0.35. So leaving it at 0.5 unless you have a specific reason is probably the smarter thing to do. So we will go ahead and we'll just simply unhook that and that will default to 0.5. So our last one for this video is going to be roughness. We've already slightly seen roughness in an example, but basically roughness is how rough an object is and it's almost the exact opposite of metallic in terms of how it works. Zero is going to be not rough at all. It's going to be plastic, basically. One is going to be rough, and it's going to be used for, like, your dirt and things like that, your grime. It's, it's completely rough. It's a um, sandpaper. So let's go ahead and let's set this up, for example. Let's set this to zero for roughness. We have our gold metallic here, and we have zero for roughness. Now, one thing you're going to notice that's immediately going to change, if you can see over here, and then we'll see in here, is our metal, now that our metal is no longer rough, is 100% metal and shiny and it reflects. And since we don't really have anything to reflect off of it, that's why we're not really seeing anything except for flat black. You'll notice our other areas, which we've set to 100% rough, this is, sorry, zero rough and zero metallic have a reflectivity but they're not shiny that's plastic if you're going to represent a plastic ball this is what you're going to have here let's let's go ahead and remove this let's just make this gold with zero percent roughness make it a little easier and what you're going to see here is basically plastic you have a shiny reflective material but it is non-metallic. It doesn't have the reflectivity properties of metal. It's got the reflectivity properties of plastic. And that's what you're seeing here. This would be great for a plastic ball or a plastic sheet or something to that effect. This is plastic. 0% roughness and no metallic makes it plastic. If we were to change this and we'll give it a one for roughness, which is 100% roughness. And we'll go and run this. You're now gonna notice we have basically no reflectivity. We have no surface that is smooth enough to reflect light. It's basically going to eat it all and we're kind of left without anything. We have a 100% rough surface. It's basically going to absorb everything. And that's because we have a zero roughness here. Now, like the other ones, of course, you can use a mask. We'll go ahead and apply this mask. White, 100% roughness. Black, 0% roughness. And when you look at this, you'll notice we have ref reflectivity where we would have plastic. And we have nothing where we would basically have sandpaper. And then we have the slight reflectivity on the edges. So you can see the differences there. If I was to go ahead and hook this up to my base color as well, just so we can actually see the difference instead of just straight gold, it might be a little more apparent. So we'll go ahead and do that and you'll see.
we have a little bit of reflective black and we have a light absorbing white. And that is it. That is what your roughness is. Those are the first four parts of your primary main material node. These are also really your only requirements. This is your basics when you are making a PBR material. Your color, your metallic, your roughness. Specular is one of those primary ones, but Epic recommends you leave it at 0.5 unless you have a specific example. I would leave it at 0.5. So this is going to wrap up our second video covering our first four input nodes. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below.